It's been six days since the last documentary. No, since the last episode of the documentary. So, yeah, pretty much. You know, I'm back. I can't believe it's been six days. And yes, Corey's still there, of course. Did you know? You know, he... He's assigned it to me. To make sure I don't escape. Or anything like that. Even though I'm much more powerful than him. Still. Smoke some weed here, watch YouTube, and yeah, the normal stuff, I guess. Let's watch this. Let's watch here. Killing is your only mission. Nobody's gonna know. Fuck off. Here we are. Item number SCP-062. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-062 is stored in a dedicated containment cell at site under clean room conditions. Any experimentation on SCP-062 must receive prior permission from at least two level three personnel and must only be performed with independent power sources. SCP-062 must never be attached to an external network and all data extracted from SCP-062 is to be stored on external non-volatile media until analyzed. Description. SCP-062 appears to be an unbranded personal desktop computer housed in an aluminum case of indeterminate manufacture. SCP-062 is unusually heavy at approximately 24 kilograms and lacks manufacturing or branding labels of any kind. The words information is freedom, sick, were found scratched into the casing near the back, apparently with a key or similar object. Inspection of its interior has revealed that SCP-062 is empty, except for a blank circuit board in place of where the motherboard of a standard personal computer would be. SCP-062 will not function unless the case is completely sealed, and attempts to open the case while it is operating cause it to shut down immediately. Despite this, SCP-062 operates as expected for a normal desktop computer, with the exception that its performance, operating system, contained data, and language appears to be different upon every activation. SCP-062 was discovered in the basement of an undisclosed university computer science laboratory. An embedded foundation agent seized the object and brought it to site where it has since been contained. Hey, Coy. Addendum 062-001. Yes, the chalk. Activation results. Date. Undisclosed. Description. Can you get SCP me a burger? appears to be running Windows XP in Cadillac. I'm hungry. Analysis of sure, I'll be right with that. Okay, cool. Thanks, for the bro. You're welcome. April 1967. These records are inconsistent with actual bank records procured by undercover foundation Stay agents. Stay right there. Date. Okay, got it. Description. SCP-062 appears to be running Debian Linux in Latin. Contained data consisted of a library of audio recordings of numeral choral songs and hymns, of which several are not found in any known collection, or have never been performed. Date. Undisclosed. Description. SCP-062 appeared to be running a version of Solaris in Portuguese. Contained data consisted of promotional and marketing material for which appears to be a commercial spaceflight corporation that does not exist. Date. Undisclosed. Description. 
SCP-062 appeared to be running an unknown operating system, visually similar to OS-2, with an unknown language, later identified to have strong similarities to that of the Voynich manuscript. Attempts at deciphering the contained data are ongoing. Date. Undisclosed. Description. SCP-062 appeared to be running in French. Contained data confirmed to be that of a standard Foundation workstation, though the site indicated by its location data does not exist. The investigation is ongoing. Date. Undisclosed. Description. SCP-062 appeared to be running Apple OS X in what appears to be a Cadian cuneiform script. Contained data appears to be composed mainly of religious text and descriptions of ritual and ceremonial procedures. Date. Undisclosed. Description. Data expunged. Investigation is ongoing as to how the virus managed to compromise three workstations and one file server before SCP-062 was forcibly shut down. All affected workstations have been isolated. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-061, Auditory Mind Control, right now. Or for the complete course, watch... SCP-061. Object class. Safe. Special containment procedures. The source code for SCP-061 is to be kept on a standard archival quality read-only data compact disk, or CD-ROM. Four copies of the CD-ROM of the source code are to be stored in separate maximum security inanimate object lockers. Except for purposes of approved experimentation, SCP-061 is not to be loaded, compiled, or run. Research proposals for SCP-061 require written approval from Site Command. Only one copy of the CD-ROM containing the source code for SCP-061 may be used at a time. The CD-ROM is to be returned to storage immediately after having been used to load the source code for SCP-061 to a device. SCP-061 must never be loaded, compiled, or run on any device which has a connection to the internet either directly or via another device. SCP-061 must never be loaded, compiled, or run on any of the subject impacting the control platform. Subject repeated this until the stop command was issued. Note, more detailed commands are advised for task-oriented commands. Subject 4427M, command, turn treadmill on, run on treadmill. Response, subject turned on the treadmill to maximum speed, mounted, and attempted to run before being ejected off the conveyor belt. Subject repeatedly attempted to turn on the treadmill to a random speed and run on it with various outcomes. Note, more detailed commands are advised for task-oriented commands. Subject, 4427M, command, turn on treadmill to jogging speed, jog on treadmill. Response, subject successfully jogged on treadmill until stop command was issued which resulted in subject being ejected off the conveyor belt. He's a bugger. Note, subject cool, should be in a safe neutral position You're before welcome. stop commands are issued. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-060, Infernal Occult Skeleton, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist. Let's aid the bug, I guess. First, Jump. and leaping approximately five meters from a running start. Due to the extreme temperatures produced by 060 Alpha during the initial stages of manifestation, along with its physical capabilities, it is capable of causing large, uncontrolled fires and widespread property damage if left unchecked. SCP-060 Alpha appears to intentionally avoid burning instances of SCP-060 when it becomes active. 
SCP-060 Alpha is introduced to a high enough volume of water or other flame retardant material over a short amount of time, it will begin to weaken, to the point that it will collapse into dust. Collapse will occur suddenly, with little warning. SCP-060 Alpha will continue to pose a threat up until its collapse. The volume of suppressive material required to subdue SCP-060 Alpha Hey, Koi. Yeah, watch out. Can I see that reptile? Why? Because I just want to see him. You know that doesn't work on me. Come on, please. Come on, Koi, please. We're supposed to be friends. Fine. Let's go to the reptile place. Thank you, Koi. Seen him for a while. That reptile. Wonder what he's been up to.
wrong way. This way, press this button. Go, go, go. Press this button here. What is this place? Ah, okay. No. This is actually. Okay, so I guess I have to go through here. He went to here, yeah, boy. in here Hello. Yeah, that's that's all. Okay, let's go into here.
storage. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go into SCP. Yellow. Am I correct? I'm not just, you know. I guess it's time to go Koi. Bye Koi.
Let's try for joint. Let's do this. I've been waiting for so long. Rock is, I've been waiting. Rock is, not. You know what I mean. I've been waiting for actual containment breach. Rock like this. Now I can escape. Die. Die, you petty bean. No, you won't die. What about you? Die. Die, you motherfucker already. Die, you piece of shit. Die. Die, you weak win. No? Okay. I better get, get going. Move the fuck out of my way. I'm going to meet up with that wizard and my sister. So we can escape from here. I repeat. We are bombing, we are nuking this facility. If anyone is in there, if I was you, I would get out now. You have an hour to get out. I will say goodbye. Die. I haven't got time for this. Break the fucking doors. I haven't got time. I have to meet up with my fucking with my brother and my sister. I've got time for your fucking whack ass. No, this out of it doesn't want to work. Okay. 
Okay then. Looks like I have to find another way up. I've got time. I haven't got time for you. I haven't got time for you either. They will meet me at the front, so I guess. Let's press this button. Let's head out. Here we are. Holy fuck. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Ready, brother? Yep. Are you ready? Yes. What about you, sister? Yeah.
Let's have a giant show where where we're gonna go. <coughs> I don't know. That's a thing. Let's go to the city or somewhere and yeah, done. Done. The stairway is over here, brother. Yeah, I can see. They wasn't kidding about nuking this place. Let's get the fuck out of here, dude. Oh, fuck nuke. Oh. Can I go this way? Actually, let's jump the fence. Done. Good idea. Yeah, good idea. Should we surrender if we see uh, if we see foundation members, or should we? Yes, we should. Okay. Jump over here. Let's head to the city. I can't believe it, it's been eight months and they capture me. Um, I'm in site 22 basically. This is my cell basically. Lounge room, dinner table, kitchen, bedroom, and then the yard out here where I can smoke weed, chill, look at the view, even though there's not much view, but YOLO. Dress up as 
these people get hurt, i.e. John, and in the end, Pocahontas decides to stay with her tribe instead of traveling to England with John. The end. Now, the real story behind it is that she really was a real girl. She didn't love John, she hated him, and he lied about everything that happened between the two of them. In the movie, 